Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I was literally talking to myself for 30 seconds. I'm happy I caught it because I would have been mad as hell if I started talking for like three minutes and I wasn't recording. So anyway, I'm actually at work on my lunch break and wanted to come on and chat with you guys about what's been going on. If you guys have been following me on my YouTube channel, you've seen that I've been posting like a whole bunch of reels. So definitely check those out, literally no more than 20 seconds of your time. Make sure to thumbs up those videos. But anyway, it's just a glimpse of usually what I'm eating and what I'm doing to work out, as well as on my Instagram. I'm putting the same amount of stuff on there. Um, I've been doing that because it's easier for me as well as it gets more views. Like I'm getting 200 to 500 views on these shorts, sometimes a thousand. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been posting. If you guys have been checking those out, thank you very much. If you guys have been thumbsing up those videos, thank you very much. Um, like I said before, I still love coming on here and chatting with you guys about what's going on, my weigh-ins and all that stuff. But just with so much going on with life, I love the little shorts and reels because it's a way to get my journey out there without... Um, you know putting so much time into it so right now i'm having lunch and i have definitely been on a a rocky few weeks summer um i've definitely been a lot of back and forth throughout the few weeks um soon as i told myself i can do 70 30 back in june i feel like i just been on a roller coaster since then part of the journey so right now i can tell you what i have I have some Ritz crackers, which honestly, I'm probably going to eat this whole thing. I don't even want to tell you how many calories is in this. Probably close to a thousand. I also have some Oreos and then I have some sushi, just some a California roll. So that's basically what I've been doing. Um, I haven't been gaining. Oh, also side note, my menstrual comes in a few days. So that's really why I'm snacking a lot and I've been craving cheese. Um, I don't know why, but I've been craving cheese. So there's that. So around my cycle, I try not to be hard on myself, but I try to be mindful as well. I'm uh, sorry. They're doing work literally right behind me. So I hope I'm talking loud enough. But anyway, um, yeah, there's that. I've been snacking a lot. I'm a snacker. Um, I really, for me, I need to do, um, a reboot and I don't have to do a long reboot, but at least like a three day little cleanse. And when I do that, I've noticed with myself, like I'm learning myself on this journey as well. I notice I don't have to do like a whole fruits and vegetables only or juicing only. Just being mindful and staying busy and staying active, I know this helps me a lot. The last one I did, I did it for five days and um, it was fruits and vegetables and cooked food and well, cooked vegetables and juices. And, you know, it really was awesome. I really enjoyed it. I didn't feel very restricted or anything like that. So that's probably the move I'm going to make in the next few days. Um, I will definitely come on and make a video if I decide to do that or the result or how I'm feeling. Because going into my menstrual, just like other women, I feel like it just takes over my whole mind, my whole body, my emotions and all that stuff. And it happens every month. So I'm in... I don't know, ever since I had a kid, ever since I entered my 30s, I feel like my hormones have gotten a lot worse. Um, I never PMSed, like ever growing up. And I had my son, what, at 25? I never went through the whole PMS stuff. And with me, I might be healed and all that stuff. Um, you know, my hair is growing back from postpartum, but sometimes my hormones takes a while to get back into line a hundred percent it might be there right now like 75 um so because even my menstrual is still changing which is weird so i maybe some women can relate with that my daughter is 18 months and that's still fairly early um to me personally um so maybe it might take me a full two years to really like get back in line with things especially with life going on and all that stuff so that's just what i'm dealing with um i said this before weight loss for me has a lot to do with mental it's not all about eat right work out mental plays a huge part of it as well so just wanted to come here tell you guys where i'm at still going strong still on my journey 
feeling good, honestly, even though I'm not where I wanna be and you know I have my downward days, I'm still feeling good. I, I'm not gaining weight. I'm not losing at the rate that I want to, but you know, it's a journey, guys. And you know, it, it, it takes sometimes you gotta um, say to yourself, oh shit, you're slipping up a little bit, get back on track. And that's the routine that you need to just keep going. I know I'm slipping up, so I'm taking the baby steps, nothing extreme, but the baby steps I need to do to get back focused. So that's my little truth. That's my little random and I rant and I hope to talk to you guys in the next video. Bye guys.